Has America ever dropped a bomb domestically? As I discuss this question, I will be joined by Mr. Peter G, who witnessed this historical American event. All right, I'm here with my friend Pete, and he's actually from Philly, and he knows a little bit about what was going on in Philly uh, towards the uh, winter to the spring of 1985. Pete, let's go. I remember that because uh, I was 23 years old. I was working in a bakery in South Philly. There was a lot of racial tension going on that time between the police and, uh, and, and the Afro-American culture, I mean, race at that time. If you were caught outside past a certain time and you were of a certain color, you were, you were harassed or, or not treated appropriate according to other people at, at that time. Do you remember uh, the Black Liberation outfit called Move and when they moved into your neighborhood? What was the uh, area like at that time? Well, they lived in a predominantly black neighborhood. and uh, How far was that neighborhood from where you live? Well, it was uh, six blocks up and maybe 10 blocks over to the left. It's okay. on the south side. The train tracks separate the north from the south. Okay, so so their, their neighborhood was a little bit more quote unquote affluent than where you live. Yes. Just a little bit step up. Okay, yes, cool. Yes, so it was definitely. But it was all black. Yes. Okay. Okay, now, did the black people there uh, like move or did they kind of like see saw them as different and a nuisance because they were like uh, they were different because they 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 looked like Jamaicans because they had long hair they believe in cutting their hair uh, they were just different and when people see different sometimes it it, it it scares them because okay. it's not the norm okay now what now what were their last names Every, all of them last name was Africa. Okay, do you know why they call themselves Africa? Because of the country they, they mostly came from and the country they respected. Okay, I heard that they also did things like the, they were pro-environment, which is very popular now. Yep. They also were pro-animals, so they would have like sit-ins and uh, uh, little, little demonstrations in front of like pet stores. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Okay. They didn't like animal cruelty. They were, uh, they definitely they, they 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 tried to get the people to, to to be more together. They were they were really educated men. They they had a lot of logic and they were like pro black. They wanted every they wanted us to buy into black to build our our build ourselves up a little bit better through education. Okay. Education was a tool they used. I wanna ask you something else. So so they lived in the area of like row houses. Yeah. Uh, how many people do you think uh, that you knew of was was in the group, and how many kids were in the group? You think it was more kids than it was uh, adults. I say at that time, the most vocal were the were the males, uh, John Africa, a couple other guys. All of them was named Africa. Mm -hmm. How many kids there? you think there were? Like thirty kids, twenty I think kids? It was like maybe 10, 15 kids in, in the house. Ten, fifteen kids. Maybe ten adults. There was a lot of people in that one house. Did you ever get a chance to interact with any any of the kids or anything like that? Or I talked to a, uh, I got a flyer from one of them one time, and he was talking to me about uh, educating myself. He was telling me education is a tool. That's the knowledge you need to fight any kind of thing in America. Mm -hmm. You got to be educated. You got and okay. you got to know where you came from to know where you're going. Okay. Okay. Great. What about Wilson Good, the first? African-American mayor of a major northern city like Philadelphia. How was he described? How would you describe him? I just think he knew the right people to get to where he had to be. He wasn't a man of the people. He was a man of the pockets. He just wanted to get his pockets fat. Okay. Tell me a little bit what you know about the previous mayor, uh, Mayor Rizzo. Rizzo, Rizzo had his own team. He made his brother the fire commissioner at that time. Knew nothing about fire. Uh, it caused a lot of pro problems because there was a lot of eligible people that was that really knew about that job and didn't get it because they had they didn't have a foot in the door like his brother. How did he how did he treat the activists or the black people that were like kind of pro-black, anti-American? How did he treat protesters? He didn't treat other races other than Italians equally. What specifically do you remember about that day, May 13th, 1985, uh, in your in your city, in your neighborhood, uh, that happened specifically with MOVE? I remember it was a lot of tension that day. 
because uh, they surrounded the house and they were talking to him about getting rid of their animals. And the, and the guy said he wouldn't do it. And Specifically I, animals, you mean rats, dogs, cats, what do I you mean, mean? I mean, they, they raise rodents. I mean, why, why, but why were they raising rats? I couldn't tell you that. Okay, I mean, but that was a problem for the people for the in the people community. In the community, okay. yes it was. Okay. So the the mayor had basically said the new black mayor Wilson Good had basically said we're gonna evict you. Yes. Okay. So what happened from there? Then they went in violently, and they and they got a violent response, and because they controlled more 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 weapons, they uh they, they it got it got really out of hand real quick. It got out of hand real quick. So so the police went into a, an eviction. And it turned violent, and so basically the move people were fighting back. Yeah, they're fighting back because they got they were getting shot at, and you know they figured it could have been a, it could have been a non-violent thing if they could have they would have talked them talked them out of it, it wouldn't have got violent. But the cops shot first. The cops shot first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they retaliated with weapons. Can't pull a gun out on somebody that owns tanks. What happened once it got dark? I'm sure that this didn't happen in the daytime, it happened in the nighttime. Yeah. At night, once they see that they wasn't going to leave and they tried everything else, they put a bomb in a helicopter. What happened at night? Did anybody know that there were children inside of those houses? Did the police, yeah, the police know? knew it was children in the house. There's no doubt about it. No the police about knew. It. They, knew. The, they knew who was getting evicted, who was in the house at all times they knew. The kids are innocent. But not in, not in somebody's eyes that feels threatened, then the kids are just a casualty. Just collateral damage. Okay. Yeah, collateral damage. So at nighttime, what happened at night? At night, they came in with lights and they dropped a bomb on the house. And when that bomb was on fire and it was burning all the people that was in the house, they blocked the city block off and they let the whole, they let all the houses on that block burn down. Instead of just putting the fire out, they would part, put the fire out. They let the whole city, the whole block, burn down. They so so it was intentionally it led. It was intentionally done and intentionally to send a message, not just to the move members, but to the black community. The elephant in the room is this: the fact that kids were there, innocent kids. Doesn't that make this a hostage situation? And why drop a bomb? Dropping a bomb is nothing more than a heinous act of terrorism that totally destroyed the will of the people. But this situation back in 1985 goes a little bit deeper. Back in 1978, Move 9 killed a Philadelphia police officer and they were sentenced to life in prison. The Philadelphia Police Department hid behind the leadership of the first black mayor and took out this terrorist act of revenge on the people. 11 people were killed, including five children and the founder of the MOVE organization. 61 homes were destroyed and 250 American citizens were left homeless. Now you tell me how the bombing of the MOVE people in 1985 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania was any different from the Black Wall Street massacre the Atlanta Massacre, the Wilmington, North Carolina Massacre, and the Elaine, Arkansas Massacre. Tell me, how was this different? Well, it occurred up north. Well, America dropped the bomb on the MOVE crew. They dropped the bomb. They dropped the bomb. Well, the MOVE crew could be me and you. They dropped the bomb. They dropped the bomb. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm CC441, and I'm bringing you the funky truth up again.